Welcome back into this new video of TechPress. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a subdomain with GoDaddy. The subdomains are a great way to organize different sections of your website, like a blog or a store. So under one main domain, we want to be doing all of this process. So first of all, let's log in directly into GoDaddy account. If you don't have an account, you have the link to download in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Once you have access to your stuff, let's go into my products once you're signed in. Here in to GoDaddy, you can see that we have all your products purchased here. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down. I'm going to go for my account. I'm going to go for manage my products. And here I should see that I have a domain already been added here into GoDaddy. For example, let's go for domains. Now here I have the domain portfolio. I'm going to go for exit. And here is my domain name. So inside this menu, this will show you a list of all the menus you own. So select a domain which you like to add to your subname by clicking on it. You might not be having access to all the domain settings. Now this is the part where we needed of course to access the DNS management. So uh, after selecting your domain, you'll be taken to the domain setting page. You can see that I will have access to the overview, the DNS and the products. So, if I focus into DNS management section and click on it, this is where you can manage your DNS records, including adding some subdomains. So to get started with an actual subdomain, we want to add a new one. So if you focus here into the records, we can add a new record and click into add a type. So it's going to be really important to type the C name type. Now, usually, Filling out the form to add the subdomain is going to be really easy. Usually into the host field or into the name, you can enter the name of your subdomain. For example, if you wanted to create, I don't know, maybe a blog .ltd, then here I want to enter the word blocked. So uh, in the point to or TTL, you've going to cause enter the URL or the IP address that you wanted the subdomain to point to, such as, for example, your subdomain.com, which in this case should be appearing here into the data. Now, lastly, the TTL should be, for example, always go for just one hour. So once you filled out all the fields, click into save to add your subdomain. And you can start by testing your subdomain. So after saving, you want to give it a few minutes for the changes to propagate, then open your web browser and type into the new subdomain. We are now seeing here that this actual domain is not working uh, at the moment. So if I go for use this subdomain, we can start to make sure that we can recover it. And then what you can do is now to manage and edit your subdomains. You can always go back to the DNS management page if you need to edit or delete your subdomain. Just find the record on the CNAME to use the edit or to deletion options as needed. Somebody asked us if this process is exactly the same with other providers of domains, for example, Namechip. And the answer is actually yes. As long as you have access to your DNS records of the domain that you purchase, you're able to add subdomains. For example, let's try exactly the same thing with Namechip. You can do it with, with hosting gear, we can do it with a lot of so much more elements. So once again, look out for the domain would you like to add a actual new domain, subdomain. So for example, here it is. I go for managed. I now have access directly here into the advanced DNS. And into the advanced DNS, exactly the same thing as we saw here inside GoDaddy, which is checking out the CNAME record. So for example, add a new CNAME record CNA record. The host, let's go for blocked. And the value should be exactly the same that appears here, to express that lot. And usually here into the TTL, you go for one hour, but here I have the automatic. So let's go here for save changes. Your CNA record and your host and the value has now been added successfully. So once again, you have to wait a little bit more just to make sure this value is now working. So that means that if I open it up, I can go for block.txpress.lat. To make use of this subdomain, I needed to make sure that this one has now been added correctly and I'd have the redirected options to into the TTL. So for example, let's say that I wanted to add this TechPress videos directly here into Google Sites. So to do this process, I needed to course to take my time and make sure this has now been uh, added correctly. And that is it. That's how we can actually get started with subdomains using the GoDaddy Elmist. 
So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. There's a lot of advanced features that can help you to get started with. Even what you can do is to locate the GoDaddy Health Center into the upper side, so they can be helping us to figure out what is exactly the solution that we need to do if there's a particular stuff with your account. So once again, you have the links down below in the description, guys. You have now tested your subdomain. You can manage and edit your subdomains, and you have now added a subdomain to GoDaddy, quick and easy. So whether you are setting up a blog, a shop, or any other section of your site, the subdomain is a great way to keep your things organized. If you find this tutorial helpful, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips here in the text press. Thank you once again for watching the video. Hopefully, with those, has been said to continue to the project section of the text press. See you next time.